spider's web and as you can see we're here with our floating cup um, project and unfortunately we're still having an issue with um, the cup being top heavy not sure exactly how I'm going to counteract that but I'll think of something also I've changed from my big glue gun to a smaller one because I don't really need a massive glue gun for this so uh, a small one will do the job so what we're going to be doing now is putting a little bit of the hot glue it's not quite heated up yet what we're basically doing is getting some of the hot glue and gluing it gluing the coins inside the cup and then down the the fork front and back and then we're putting it all around here as well so hopefully once it starts getting down here um, the weight of the coins on the bottom bit will um, counteract the the weight of the cup we're not putting all that many coins in the cup um, so fingers crossed that can be sorted I just need to get another stick of hot glue just to be on the safe side we may need that and again we may not we don't know so is that done as yet not quite take my hand over it and we place it in the cup as you can see now what I'm actually doing here is trying to get a proper cascade effect with this as though it's being poured out so that's why I'm working from the cup downwards rather than from the um, the plate upwards if we did it that way then you would actually it would be very difficult to make it look as though it's flowing down it looks as though it's going upwards um, so it's better off overlapping from the top down um, this is going to be quite awkward the way we're working at the moment because I'm trying to get it on camera so you can see what I'm doing and actually doing it So that it sticks is um <laughs> awesome. I want the camera to try and I want to try and get it so that you can see what I'm doing, but I also need to see what I'm doing myself. And I've got some little hot glue stuck to my finger. <laughs> okay, so nothing on that stuck anywhere so that's the best thing about this hot glue is it can be peeled off once it's dried I'm wondering whether to not to use this or whether to use super glue to be honest but I suppose if Um, if need be I can always go back and put super glue on but I don't think that's going to be um, something I'll be able to do find out when we get around to it there we go And 
so we're trying to make sure that everywhere is covered and disguised because the last thing we want is to see bits of fog to see any of the green stuff or anything else on show that's not going to work either oops the doors to have come off I may have to give it time to set I don't know, I may, I may also need the bigger glue gun and who knows, but we'll see as time goes on, we'll see I hope this will work and I hope the stick is strong enough. If this one works out well, I've got, a, I've got an idea for a second one. Totally different. And 
There we are. Okay, I'm going to leave it here, I think. You've seen me, you've seen me do this enough, you know what I'm doing. Hopefully, I can get this um, actually finished. And the next time you see it, it will be when I give it to my daughter. So, uh, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just basically building up and building up and trying to get it so that there's a lot of coins on the bottom. Um, I need to, obviously, watch my fingers where I'm sticking the hot glue and clean my fingers off but that's it for this video as I say when we come back we will finish and that'll be time to actually give it, give this to my daughter if it works okay so until next time as always take care god bless and bye for now